Hey, man, are you ready to record for the first time ever in Studio One? Well, let me show you something. What's up, YouTube? Welcome to the channel. I am Wavy Wayne from wavywayne.com, and this channel is all about helping you to record and mix better and faster. So if you're here for the first time, you hit that subscribe button, but just wait. You can wait. It's cool. It's cool. <laughs> Let me go ahead and jump off in the studio one, man, so I can show you how to go ahead and get recording, you feel me? So one of the first things that you're going to do once you open up Studio One, you're going to be confronted with this startup screen, okay? You got a couple of options right at the top from creating a new song, creating a new project, or opening an existing document. Now, if you watch the first video in this Studio One series, then you've already configured and set up your audio interface to work properly with Studio One. So let's just go ahead and click the create a new song button and then we'll get our new song um, our new song dialog box pop up for us here. We're just going to go ahead and go to user and choose an empty song unless you downloaded one of my templates from wavywayne.com that I have some Studio One templates. You know, you can download those or you can just start a user empty song. Let's go ahead and name this something. I'm going to call it my first <laughs> S1 song. Okay. And Right up underneath the title is where we can actually choose a location to save it. Please make sure that you always choose an appropriate location where you can find it. So you may even want to go to the documents and say um, Studio One Songs and then save it there. So I'll open that folder and get saving. Now let's talk, take a look at some of these parameters down below so you can know exactly what to choose before you start your session. The sample rate is going to determine the frequency resolution of your audio. We're not going to get too deep off into that right now, but just know I like to keep mine at about 48 kilohertz. The highest sample rate that you can use would be 192 kilohertz, but that's just going to make your file size unnecessarily large. All right. The resolution is going to determine your amplitude. The resolution is really what I like to call bit depth, and it's going to determine the amplitude resolution or the quality of how well they capture the, an the amplitude from the analog world and convert it over to the digital. As far as time base, working in bars is fine since we're going to be creating a musical project. Song length, I don't like that they had that feature there, but yeah, one hour, that should be more than enough time. Tempo, we'll start it off at 120 beats per minute unless you know for a fact like, hey, I want to go to 70 beats per minute in this song, which I probably will. Um, time signature, most of the songs are going to be 4-4. Four, four. We don't need to really enter a key and we don't need to worry about anything else. So we're just going to go ahead and click that OK button and Studio One will open up to its edit window and we'll now need to create a track. So to create a new track to record in, in Studio One, you could right click over in this little gray area here, or you could always go up to the track menu and hit add tracks or add audio tracks. I'm just gonna right click in this area and hit add an audio track, a mono audio track, since we're gonna be recording the input from my microphone. Now to double check that the input is correct we can click right here you see where it says input one we can click here and choose from the available inputs that are affiliated with my audio interface so i plug my microphone into input one on the audio interface so i'm just going to choose input one there Next, let's take a look at a few of the other controls on the Studio One track here. We have a mute option. We have solo option, which will solo this track and mute everything else. Um, this little button here is our record enable button. And then we also have an input monitor button. If we, by clicking this, this will simply just allow us to um, hear the track and hear the input from that track without actually recording anything. This might be a good option if you want to start to actually set the levels, okay? Now, there's only going to be three ways that you can set the input level going into your Studio One project. Nothing inside the software is going to do that. Not this little uh, volume slider that we have here or anything else. The three ways include setting the level on your preamp, whether that's on your audio interface or an external preamp, moving closer or further away from the microphone or adjusting the level on your source. So if I was recording a keyboard or something like that, I could turn it up or turn it down to get the appropriate level coming into my Studio One. Now, as far as what the appropriate level is, you definitely just want to see a good, clean, strong level that's not clipping. Kind of what I have here is actually a perfect level. I'm going to go ahead and before I do anything else, 
name this track. It's super important to name the track so that the audio files that you record on the tracks will also have a proper name. And we just don't have a bunch of audio files that are nameless or untitled or called track one. So I'm going to double click on that track name. I'm going to name it Wavy Vox. That'll get me the appropriate track name. Then I'll record and enable that track. And then to actually start recording here in Studio One, you could come right down to your transport controls at the bottom of the screen, hit that record button, and now we are starting to record. Check one, check two, check three. Hit the space bar to stop the recording, and then you can take it out of record and enable. All right, Studio One family, that has been a quick look at how to actually get started with recording your first session in Studio One. I'm Wavy Wayne from wavywayne.com. If you found this video helpful, make sure you put a like on it and share it with a friend. And also hit that subscribe button. I'll see y'all on the next part of this series. Be dope.